carrot, onion, peas and cheese. That doesn't sound very special. Shush, I am thinking. Voila! One recipe for a very modern meal. Hooray! This is a library. Can I borrow this book, wise old elf? You can keep it, Princess Holly. Fairy books do not belong in the elf library. Thank you. King and Queen Marigold, how lovely to see you. Hello, darling. It's always a pleasure to visit your little kingdom. <laughs> I hope you're hungry. Nanny's been in the kitchen all day. We haven't eaten a thing since breakfast. We didn't want to spoil a dinner made by the best cook in the whole world. I wonder if baked beans are modern. Nanny, we've got a magic cookbook. Hello, Nanny Plum. Oh, you found my cookbook. Where was she? She was in the elf library. What were you doing in there? I was getting very bored. <laughs> <laughs> the book knows a recipe for a modern meal. Oh, good. What are the ingredients? A potato, a carrot, an onion, some peas and cheese. But that's what I would normally cook. Yes, the ingredients are simple, but the way we cook them is not. Now, boil a pot of water. Chop potato, carrot, onion, peas and cheese. And put them into the pot. Boil for one minute and then collect the steam. And serve. Is that it? It is a very delicate dish. Hello, King Thistle. Where's this hamster of yours? My hamster? Here's Pippin. <laughs> ah! <laughs> Pippin likes you. No charmed, I'm sure. Bring in the wheel. Right ho! Goodness! Where's that going to go? It's hideous! Oh, oh, oh. The things we do for our pets, hey, King Thistle? It's not my pet! Lower the wheel into the hamster cage. Hamster cage? Are you talking about my castle? Put the wheel in the middle of the hamster cage, Mr. Elf. Pippin! Here, Pippin. Pippin like wheel. Are you sure the wheel is strong enough? It'll be fine. Hamsters don't run very fast. Ooh, you've got a fast hamster, haven't you? The wheel's spinning too quickly. She cannot take it, Captain. It's OK. The wheel's too big to go through the cage door. My castle! Oh, dear. Pippin's escaped again. The wheel's heading for the great elf tree. We'll have to warn the elves. Hello? Hello, dear. It's me. Um, do you know what uh, hamsters are? Yes, dear. They're sweet little fluffy creatures. Um, yes. Well, don't panic, but there's a hamster coming your way in an enormous wheel! Oh! Now, all astronauts into their spacesuits, get ready for takeoff! <laughs> What's this for? There's no air in space. You'll have to wear a spacesuit. But we can just use magic to breathe. No, magic is not allowed aboard the elf rocket. You will have to leave your wands behind. Ugh, OK. Astronauts aboard the rocket! Queen Sissel, would you please come with me to the mission control room? Ooh! Systems check. Engines ready. Engines are go. Computers ready. Computers online. Fuel system ready. Fuel systems A OK. Start the countdown. Ten. 
I want to wish you all the best of luck. You are going where no elf has gone before. Oh, fairy. Oh, oh fairy. Oh, sorry, Holly. You are going where no elf or fairy has gone before. Is everyone ready? All ready and a okay, wise old elf. Zero. Here we go. Next up, the moon. Blast off. Where did it go? Where did it go? Where did it go? Into space. It actually worked. I wasn't expecting that. We are now out of Earth's atmosphere. We can take off. Gaston has spots on his back. And Gaston's bed is where he lies. It's another map. Ooh. The X shows the little castle. Impossible. I've dusted every nook and cranny of the little castle. I would have found it. Maybe it's well hidden, me sweetheart. Mm. To the little castle. Hello, everybody. Peace of the night. Oh, goodness me. Daddy. We're searching for pirate treasure. My uncle is Redbeard the Elf Pirate. Your Majesties. A pirate, eh? Not a nasty pirate, Your Majesty. A good pirate. For I am Redbeard the Elf Pirate. <laughs> oh, oh. Well, that's all right then. So, where's this treasure? Hmm. Up above the castle, I point to the sky, and hidden underneath me is where the clue lies. Well, that's just nonsense. I know. The roof is above the castle. And it points to the sky. Very clever, Your Majesties. But that's ridiculous. I've dusted on top of the roof a hundred times. Maybe it'd be under the roof. I've an idea. Take a look under the roof, Nanny Plum. Oh, are you sure, Your Majesty? I command it! As you wish. Zip, zap, zap! Roof lifts up! Oh, I meant take a look through the attic door. Oh. <laughs> Another map! The X is at the river. It's Big Bad Barry. He's swimming towards Redbeard's boat. Oh, dear. He's going to eat it. No! Me treasure! <laughs> Did you see that? He swallowed it whole, like it were a grape. Oh, what a shame. Shall we go home, then? Go home? But we haven't got me treasure! Well, we can't do much about that now. I never thought I'd say it, but Nanny Plum is right. Unless you want to sail into Barry's stomach and take your treasure back, this adventure is over. You're right, me fruity pancake. Mm. Take us home, Mr. Elf. Aye, aye, Captain Redbeard. Uh, who turned out the lights? It's all gone dark. Where are we? Oh, we must have sailed into a cave. Mr Elf was chatting instead of looking where he was going. I was parked. Well, we're somewhere strange, and no mistake. And I'll shave me beard off if there's not something fishy going on. Turn on the lights, Mr Elf. Aye, aye, Captain. It smells fishy. What a pong. Where are we? Look, me ship! There are more boats as well. <gasps> it's Bunty, the boat Big Bad Barry had last winter. That's my old boat, Trixabel. And there's Fifi and Miss Boo Boo. Uh, if all those boats are inside Big Bad Barry, then we must be inside Big Bad Barry. By all that's wet and fishy, you're right. We're in the belly of the big fish. That explains the smell. Just think, all those years I tried to catch Barry, and now he's caught me. How are we 
going to get out of here? Say cheese. Cheese. <laughs> oh, uh, oh, what? <laughs> it's smelly elf cheese. <laughs> mm, it's really smelly. <laughs> yes, it's top quality smelly elf cheese. <laughs> <laughs> that was not funny at all. Mr. Old Elf. Oh, yes, it was. <laughs> I'm going to turn you into a snail. But, Nanny, you said never use magic in anger. I'm not angry. Now, where's my wand? Oh, uh, it, it was just a joke. Yes, and here's another joke. Elf to snail. <gasps> <laughs> Naughty Nanny. You said never use magic when you're angry. Yes. Happy Elf Joke Day, wise old snail. Ha ha ha. <laughs> uh, what's that snail doing here? Well, Daddy, the wise old elf played jokes on Nanny Plum and she got angry and did a spell on him. <laughs> The wise old elf was just having fun. Don't you have a sense of humour, Nanny Plum? Yes, Your Majesty. Nanny Plum, why did you turn him into a snail? Um, it was meant to be a funny joke. And was it funny? No, Your Majesty. <laughs> he doesn't look very happy. I'm not surprised. Turn him back into the wise old elf, please, Nanny Plum. Very well, Your Majesty. Silly old elf, back to yourself. <laughs> Your Majesty. Where? All I can see is a litter bin. What? Big people and fairies might call it a litter bin, but to us it is the Great Elf Tower. Why are you wearing those funny clothes? They're not funny. These are safety clothes. The Great Elf Tower can be very dangerous. And very smelly. Here goes. Uh, 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 Keep going. You're uh, almost there. Uh, uh, uh. Have you found lots of things for making toys? Uh, not yet. It's a bit dark. I'll go down and take a closer look. Oh, dear. I think the Great Elf Tower is empty. Oh. Mummy, Daddy, can I have some more jelly, please? <laughs> <laughs> this is really Dad, I can hear oh, big people. Sandwiches. We must stay out of their way. Big people have very big feet. Come on, Rex. That was a lovely picnic. Let's tidy up. OK, Dad. I'll take the litter to the bin. Thank you, Lucy. Come on, Rex. <coughs> That's the sound of big people. Quick, get out of the bin. Huh? What was that? I said, get out of the bin. It's not a bin. It's the Great Elf Tower. Just get out of there, you silly old elf. Excuse me. <laughs> Ooh, a little fairy. Uh, hello. <laughs> Ooh, and a smelly little fairy. I am not a smelly little fairy. I'm a smelly little elf. <sighs> it's been a long day. I think I'll go to bed early. Uh, Your Majesty, that might be a problem. What do you mean? Well, it's to do with Gaston. Yes? Nanny, magic to this basket for Gaston to sleep in. Well done, Nanny. But the basket was too draughty. Hmm. Then he tried my bed, but that was too soft. Oh, dear. I don't like the sound of this. Don't worry, Daddy. Gaston's found a bed that he says is just right. Oh, but that's my bed. What's he saying now? 
Gaston says he is very tired and would like to go to sleep now. <sighs> Good night, Gaston. Sleep tight. So, where are we going to sleep? That was the most uncomfortable night ever. Oh, how long is Gaston going to stay with us? I did say he could stay here until his cave was mended. And how long will that take? I don't know. It's no good. Holly's hidden too well. I'll never find her. <laughs> Found you! Oh! How did you find me? I'm invisible. Oh, I'm not invisible. The magic's worn off. Magic? Oh, um, I was just using a teeny bit of magic. Hmm. Anyway, let's play a different game. I promise not to use flying or magic. OK, let's play a game of... Holly! Children! The cupcakes are ready! Oh, Mrs Elf, do we have to come in? Can we just play one more game? Well, I never. I thought a certain fairy princess and a certain elf found playing games boring. But, Mum, we've hardly been playing any time at all. And you said the cakes would take ages. <laughs> the cakes have taken ages. Have they? The time's whizzed by because you were enjoying yourselves. Time does that. Oh. Would you like a cupcake each? Yes, please. Mmm. Delicious. Mmm. Yummy. These cakes are the best. And Mrs Elf didn't even use any magic. <laughs> Thank you, Holly. I think it was your stirring that made all the difference. <laughs> <laughs> Do you want to see a trick? OK. <laughs> I can make this cake disappear. How? I thought elves didn't do magic. Watch carefully. <laughs> no, thank you, Nanny Palum. We've had quite enough of fairy magic. Now it's time for some elf skill. What's your plan, wise old elf? We simply lasso the sails and stop the windmill. Take hold of this rope, elves. Are you sure this is a good idea? We know what we're doing. Stand back, everyone. He's got it! Hooray! Well done, wise old owl. Told you it would work. <gasps> I hope they're OK. <laughs> they don't look very happy. Elves are never happy. <laughs> Maybe you can stop the spell now, Nanny Plum. Ah! What did he say? Stop the wind. Oh, OK. All winds, away you go! Wise old elf, are you all right? Of course I'm all right. I'm an elf. <laughs> <laughs> I'll just get my bag of flour. Nanny Plum, I strongly advise you not to open that door. Oh, stop fussing. <laughs> <coughs> There's something funny going on around here. Wise old elf, what do we do next? A good question, Holly. Next, we wind the toys up. Look! It works! Wow! <laughs> cool! Go on, do something. Nanny, my elf.
smell doesn't work. Don't worry. I'll just give it a little help. <laughs> <coughs> Nanny Plum, have you been doing magic? Just a teeny tiny little bit to help things along. You are a very naughty fairy. Sorry, wise old elf. <laughs> <laughs> we'll say no more about it. Now, Holly, let's see what your owl can do. Oh, it doesn't work at all. Hmm, maybe too much magic went into its making. I can fix it. I'm very good at mending things. There, that should do it. Was Nanny Plum rude to Mrs. Witch? A bit. Hmm, witches can be a little moody. Are you going to tell Mrs. Witch off, Daddy? No, I've got a better idea. Who's there? King Thistle. King Thistle who? Ah, uh, King Thistle, King Thistle. Oh. Your Majesty. You must be the Mrs. Witch I have heard so much about. Please let me explain. About your cleverness, your kindness and beauty. Uh oh Not to mention your wonderful cooking. Would you like a worm cake? No, thank you. I believe you may have frozen Nanny Plum. Yes, I have, but... I completely understand why you would want to do this. You do? Nanny Plum can be quite rude at times, but she's really not that clever. Yes, well... I am sure, being as clever and as kind as you are, and knowing that Nanny really can't help herself, you will let her go this time. <coughs> quite apart from that, I need Nanny to cook my dinner. I could cook you dinner, Your Majesty. That's very kind of you. I was just about to boil some toads in my hole. But I just need Nanny Plum back. I understand. Just one moment. Say thank you for having me, Nanny. Thank you for having me. Goodbye, Mrs. Witch, and very nice to meet you. I'm honoured, Your Majesty. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. Daddy told us to feed Betty, but now she's so big, she'll never fly. Daddy must be wrong. Holly, Daddy's never wrong. He's a king, and he's very, uh... Wise. But how will Betty fly? Wait and see. Good night, Holly. Good night, Mummy. But how will Betty Caterpillar fly? Well, she won't exactly be a caterpillar anymore. Ah, uh, I don't get it. You will tomorrow. Good night, Ben. Good night, Dad. Ben! Ben! Holly! <laughs> Hi, Ben. Hi, Holly. Oh, where's Betty? Um, I don't know. But look at that. Ugh. What is it? Don't know, but it wasn't here yesterday. Hiya. Hiya. Hi, Violet. Hi, Strawberry. Ugh. What's that? We don't know. It's a cocoon. Caterpillars make them. So, is Betty Caterpillar inside? Yes, but when she comes out, she won't be a caterpillar anymore. What will she be? Um, 
Maybe a frog. A frog? Or maybe a bird. I see. Betty Caterpillar's going to turn into a bird. Then she'll fly. But the tide will be coming in soon and... Please, Mr Elf, please can we stay a bit? Just a little bit, then. We'll pack the car, but you must come when we call you. Yes, Mum! We promise! Oh, look! The sea is coming closer. That's great! Soon the castle will have a moat. Oh! Holly almost left her wand behind. Talking of Holly, let's fetch the children. I don't want to go home. I want to stay in our castle forever and ever. Oh, goodness! Look how high the sea is! Ben! Holly! Leave the castle now! We can't leave! The sea's too high! Holly, you can fly to the shore! OK! No! It's too windy to fly! Uh, Holly! Maybe it's time to do a little magic! Yes! I'll just wave my wand and... Oh! Where's my wand? Here's your wand, Holly! I can throw it to you! But what if it falls in the sea? Don't worry, Holly. Mrs Elf is very good at throwing things. And I'm great at catching. <laughs> OK. Don't worry, Wand. Ben will catch you. Ready, Ben? Yes, Mum! One, two, three, roll! <laughs> for the answer. What books did you look in? We looked in my storybook. And we looked in magic spell books. Well, there are different books for different things. There are books with stories in. Ooh, look, witches. And books about how things work. Wow, a rocket book. There are books about music. Oh, palm music for elves. My favourite. Books about animals. Oh, chickens. That's interesting. Books about vegetables. Oh, yes, I like vegetables, especially peas. You can find out any answer if you look in the right book. Ah, here we are. A book on stars. Is this going to have the answer? Let's see. Is everybody comfortable? Yes, yes Queen Thistle. Oh. On clear nights, we can see the stars twinkling in the sky. The light we see from each star is tiny, the tiniest little spot of light. We can only see it because the sky is so dark. Black! The night sky is pure blackness. Yes, it is, Holly. But when the morning comes and the sun rises, the sky gets brighter and the stars disappear. But, Mummy, where do the stars go? They don't go anywhere. What? They're still shining in the sky. We just can't see them anymore because the sky is so bright. It's obvious. I knew that. And when the sun goes down and the sky gets darker, we can see the stars again. When the sun goes. 